Who are you? So, hey, I'm Guillaume Cohen. I'm yeah. the CEO of Viodia, and we're the makers of Screen Jelly. And what is Screen Jelly? So Screen Jelly is the uh, it's a new form of me. communication. Yeah. Uh, it's the new way. Uh, it's basically the simplest way you can think of sharing something visually. So. Um, you know, think of all those times where you had to uh, write those long emails trying to describe uh, a problem you have with an application or showing someone how to do something. Um, here, you just press a button in your browser and it starts recording your screen activity with your voice and then you can show that via email or Twitter. Um, so it's like super simple, nothing to install, nothing to download and uh, allows you to communicate visually. So it, um, Screen recording is not something new. Uh, you know, you have all those uh, Camtasia and all those Jing and all those tools that yeah. you install and and allow they allow you to create a very highly produced piece of uh, of um, video. Um, but those tools are really designed for um, experts or people who can uh, who don't mind creating those big files and and really want to have high production value. Yeah. In our case, it's really designed for messaging. So it's really uh, designed for the mainstream and for people who don't necessarily want to deal with those big tools and ju they just want to press a button and at any time when they want to explain something the button's there and they can press it and, and just start talking. So it's really designed more for the quick and dirty if yeah. you will. Um, so it's the Twitter of screen capture. In a way, but our vision is way beyond Twitter. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just saying twi Twitter was very simple and very constrained. Right, exactly. So here, for example, with Screen Jelly, uh, it's three minute. It's limited to three minutes. So it's really designed not for the long tutorials, but more for a quick uh, knowledge bite or a bug report. Or let's say, you know, I have a problem with an application. I just record it. I don't care if there's no subtitle or yeah. um, nice transitions. I just want to get it out there, uh, and that's what it's designed for. How do you guys make money? So right now we're, in, we're not at least with that service, uh, so it's free. Um, we have several uh, um, business models that we're working on um, that will uh, be uh, based on some premium offerings yeah. for individuals or for uh, websites and companies. Okay, so it's free to try right now? So it's free, you go to screenjelly.com. Yeah. If you want something with a, a longer, so right now it's as I said, it's limited to three minutes. If you want something with a, a longer recording time uh, and more editing features, then you can use Screen Toaster, which is the uh, the big sister of Screen Jelly, yeah. where, which is the company we acquired uh, a few months ago, and that is the provided the technology behind Screen Jelly and Screen Toaster. Is this going to be the first of a family of products that are aimed at yes, communicating online? Absolutely. I mean, our vision really is that. We're creating a new form of communication which didn't exist, which uh, which is really about capturing visual information and sharing it in many forms, so via Twitter, via email, directly on websites for support purposes, for example. Um, and really, you know, we're we're planning to enable the web with this capability. Yeah. How do you do it without loading a application? Aha. That's the secret sauce. Yeah. So what's your secret sauce? <laughs> so it's uh, it's a mix of uh, of Java and Flash, and uh, you don't have to install anything, but still you have screen recording capabilities straight from straight from your browser. Right. Uh, so it's uh, really tricky. I don't understand it myself very well. I, I just know that you know Screen Toaster had been working on it for years, and they managed to 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 crack this. Uh, crack this and make it that easy and which which is the key to make it mainstream you have to make it uh, just super easy for anyone and in, not installing anything makes a huge difference yeah uh, can you convert the files to like uh, video format so you can put them in a YouTube video or anything like so that? so right now they play yeah they play in flash player from from screen jelly uh, with screen toaster you have a YouTube export capability so you can push directly to YouTube from screen toaster yeah. uh, screen jelly doesn't have that at the moment it's more designed for communication, so not so much for, for sharing on YouTube. What's the most unique thing you've seen done with it so far? Oh, we've seen a lot of things. We've, we've seen some people using it to uh, um, for the weather forecast, so going over a um, hurricane, um, like some um, you know weather map with the progression of the hurricane and describing how, how it's going. We saw people rehearsing. Um, music partitions um, and you know, playing flute as the partition is uh, uh, moving forward on their on their screen. A lot of people using it for reporting bugs and problems, so mm -hmm. even including on Twitter. So 
hey, uh, Microsoft, when I do this and this, it crashes my application. Please help me. How do I do this and that? Um, so very efficient because you send it, especially in that case, you leverage the Twitter community yeah. um, and people respond right away and they understand your problem without having to go and do 20 back and forth. Yeah. What have you learned about integrating into Twitter? Uh, we learned um, that, uh, you know, uh, until last week, we were um, relying on Twitter exclusively for sending in, and you know after they had all the, the issues for a couple of days, then yeah. people couldn't use our service anymore. Uh, so we learned that it's great, but it's good to have alternative ways. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think on the technical side, it was fairly easy to integrate. Um, yeah. But we just don't see Screen Jelly as a just a Twitter add-on. It's you know way beyond that. It's it's more of a form of communication that you can use within Twitter but also through many other communication channels. Well, that's a good way to go. That's you, YouTube started as video for MySpace, right? And that's so right. So you'd be a, a little bit of a living on another person's platform and then you build your own exactly your own uh, identity. Exactly. Separate. And kind of you know leverage the momentum that Twitter has right now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Anything else I need to know about? Um, yeah, I mean last week we uh, launched a um, um, we launched a bookmarklet, so basically now if you drag, if you go to Screen Jelly and you go to the Tools um, section at the top, you drag the bookmarklet into your browser, and now you have, at any time, whatever site you're visiting, whatever you're doing, you have a uh, screen recording capability handy right in your browser. You press on it and you get a little button that comes down and allows you to record your screen and send it. Very cool. Um, so is everything in Screen Jelly public, by the way? Because if you're in Twitter, no. it, it implies that it's all public. So you, it's your choice, basically. We give you a, a check mark, and uh, if you press make private, then it remains private, and only people you send it via email uh, or Twitter or any other way will be able to see it. If you leave it public, then it will show up in the public timeline on Screen Jelly. Oh, very cool. And can we just see what it looks like? Sure. I want to record something uh, on my screen uh, and share it with someone. Yep. All I have to do is pre press this, that big red button. So nothing to install, nothing to download. I can pick my microphone and let's press and start. Okay. So record is loading. It's just asking me to trust this Java applet. And now the countdown is going to start. And in five seconds, the recording is going to start. Full screen recording. So let me switch yeah. here. Uh, to another tab, and uh, let's see what site you want me to uh, show. What's uh, you your can go to um, Twitter.com. Twitter.com. So let's see what's new on Twitter. Um, and here, see how many friends you got. Yeah, not 150 many. Friends. 150 friends. That's good. Compared to you, it's uh, definitely not. That's good. Impressive. I gotta go look and see who your friends are, so I can <laughs> steal some more. <laughs> I need more friends. <laughs> So let's say I want to, you know, report some issue to uh, people on Twitter. Hey, Twitter, look, I'm uh, I'm doing this when I click here. I think this is not very clear. Um, I would like to have this uh, feature a little more clear. Okay. Uh, and once I'm done, you can see here I have a countdown. Yeah. So I have another two minutes if I want to record something. But let's say I'm done. I press on stop. And here already my recording is uh, is here for me to uh, preview. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, if, if I press on it, <coughs> so everything I did is here. And it's all in the window. I can go full screen. You can see the the quality. It's basically identical, almost identical to the original recording. Yeah. Very nice. Now, if I go back, let's say I like this uh, video. I don't need to redo it. Now I wanna. See the private thing I was talking yep. about? So I can make it private if I want. Yep. And let's say I want to send it via email. I pr click here and let's send it to... Scobalizer. Scobalizer at Gmail. Gmail. Yeah. Uh, actually, let's here. So I'm, I'll tell you, hey, Robert. Yeah. But you can see it's really easy to use. Very nice. It's very, very easy. Nice then I press send, and then boom, it's. Uh, does it work on every it. OS, or does it just work on Mac and Windows? Everything. Yeah. So Mac, Windows, Firefox, Safari, um, Linux, Chrome, everything. Linux. Very cool. Everything, and it's all browser-based. Um, now another cool thing that uh, we uh, just launched last week is a uh, add a screen jelly button. So it's a button you can add to any website. Um, it gives you a JavaScript callback. Uh, that allows you to 
once the, your visitor has recorded something, you can do anything you want with the recording or the embed. So with that button, you can enable any website with the Scringily capability. Can I? That's interesting because for building 43, I want to build a community of people who are helping each other. Yeah. So could I um, constrain it to just those videos that are in response to building 43? So I could ask a question. You know, can you? Teach me a tip, for instance. A, a teach me a CSS tip, and bring just those videos back onto the page. Exactly. So oh, that's uh, cool. Exactly. So you can add that button, and then on your website, you can add the logic to do whatever you want with the output of that. You know, the the URL or the, the embed code, and then share it with everyone else again, or just keep it for yourself. So yeah, yeah it's really our vision is is to to empower the web. And uh, yeah, you should you should check it out and using it for, for building 43. Very cool. This is not live, right? In other words, somebody else can't watch you work live. You have to record it and then send it up to the Correct. web. So it's asynchronous. Yeah. It's you know, it allows you to record your screen with your voice um, as an asynchronous message. So you yeah. kind of lay somewhere between email, voicemail, and web conferencing. It's none of those three. It's really a, a new way of communicating for all the cases where those three are not perfect perfectly suited. Very cool. And where do we find it? You find it on screenjelly.com. Jelly like uh, like jelly. Yep, J E L L Y. J E L L Y.com. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you so much. Thanks, That's Robert. really cool.